we'll be creating a countdown. It's got a button that you click and that's gonna start the countdown. So the countdown is gonna start at 10 and once it reaches zero, we're gonna see the blast off message and the color of the font is gonna go back to black. So when it's doing the countdown, it's gonna be red. Once we end the countdown, it goes back to the black color. I've got a couple of elements on the page within the HTML. So one has a class of output and then there's a button that has the start. So what we wanna do is we wanna select the elements add an event listener. So when we click start, it's going to start the countdown and we'll output the countdown on the page as we go through the and setting up the interval. So every second we're going to have a countdown and this is just a quick way using JavaScript in order to create the countdown. So first off, let's select our page elements. We can use that using the document and then the query selector, selecting the element. And in this case, I only just have the one button. So we do need to be specific as we're making the selection. And also for the output area, I do have an element with a class of output. So that's the one that I'm gonna use in order to create the output content. And we also need to have a starting value. So let's set up a value for the counter. And we can actually just leave that blank and we're gonna use it within the scope of the interval. And we'll pass that through as we continue to do the countdown. So let's go ahead and add in an event listener to the button. So this is done with using the add event listener and the event that we're gonna be listening for is gonna be a click. So whenever the button gets clicked, we'll just run an anonymous function. And this function is gonna select the element with a class of output. And we'll set up, actually, we're gonna set up a first, a counter value. So that will be the counter starting point. So we'll start at 10. And then within the output, let's go ahead and we're gonna add the inner text content there. And that will be whatever that we've got for the value of counter. And now let's set up our timer. So that can be called countdown. And this is gonna use the interval. So set up an interval that's gonna run a countdown and then run the block of code that's gonna be associated with it. And then we wanna run it every thousand milliseconds, which is every second, we're going to run this block of code. So within the counter, we want to subtract from the counter. So we're going to be subtracting one from the counter. And if we want it to start at 10, then we'll just add in and have the value there. So we can change the different starting values as needed. So what we want to do is we want to check to see if the value of counter is gonna be less than zero. And then that's where we want to end the countdown. So let's uh, set the value of the counter and then using the output. So you can set it to inner HTML or inner text. So in this case, I'm not using any HTML. So I'm just gonna set the inner text and then you can have a message such as blast off. And we want to also run the clear interval. So let's see how that goes. So we hit start. And then now every second we've got the interval running and it's gonna be subtracting, running this block of code. And we wanna output the counter content. So add that into the counter because we didn't see the initial counter content. So there's our counter starting, counting down, and it's running every second. So once we hit zero, that's where we get the blast off value. You can also have it if it's less than one so that it doesn't ever reach zero. And if we wanna start it and we want the users to be able to see 10 when it starts, then we can start it at 11 for the different counter. And of course you can adjust this as needed. Also, you can apply some styling to the output area. So while the counter is running, we'll update and we'll apply the styling to it. So you can select the element and select the style property. And how about we change the color of it set it to be black. And then while the countdown is in place, as we run through the counter, we'll set it to red. And then once the blast off does, then we'll go back to black. So that's how you can apply some styling properties. You can also add in classes in order to make it more interesting of an application. So that's how you can use the interval, set interval and clear interval in order to make a quick countdown using JavaScript.